Hey YouTubers, i um, gonna try to change out my front door speaker. Um, haven't seen any videos on YouTube to walk through with a walkthrough like that. Um, this is my 2006 Scion XP, it's the box. And let's get started. First thing we'll need to do is remove three screws. There's one here by the uh, door. Um, one in here and a little plastic one here. Okay, now that these two screws and this plastic uh, clip is out, we're just gonna slowly remove the door panel. It's held in by plastic clips. So we want to start from the bottom from here and gently pull. Gently pull, keep pulling, and now it's out. Now you want to scroll to lift it up. You want to lift it up and out. There we go. I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to remove the this uh, window control unit, this clip and it was really difficult to work with the door panel on so I removed the three screws and removed the whole thing altogether. Maybe we can now figure out how to unclip this wiring, wiring harness. Okay, I figured it out with the door panel off. You have to really push this piece in so this little uh, plastic knob can clear this hole and then start pulling out. Um, guess it's okay. I'll just reinstall this a bit later. Fun part. We have to use a 1 8 drill bit to drill out these rivets. For some reason Toyota decided to put rivets instead of screws. So, probably a faster installation. But, uh, let's get drilling. Now that these little rivets are out, they, as you can see, when you drill it out, the whole thing comes off. We have to put new screws in. So I got these quarter inch uh, nuts and bolts from Home Depot. Realize it's a little bit big, but uh, it's just gonna make the hole a little bigger because I already have, I bought nuts as well on the back side. Now that the holes are slightly bigger and this uh, nut and bolt can easily pass through, uh, you'll need a um, speaker harness or a speaker um, mount, they call it. These are, I got these on Amazon. There's like $10. I'll have the link in the description. Um, basically what it is, it's a plastic piece where it allows you to mount the speaker onto the body of the door. It's very simple. I'll line it up and put the nuts and bolts in. What I did was I also bought a spring uh, washer along with it since this is a car. So this way once it's compressed it'll be a little stronger. So on one side it's a washer, spring washer, and uh, and a bolt. The other side, put uh, another washer through and a nut over. Now, now comes the part where we have to splice this wire and uh, put the butt plug together. Uh, since I didn't buy a harness, I wasn't sure which side is positive or negative, the pink or the purple. Did a quick Google for Toyota vehicles seems like the left front pink is positive and violet color the purple one is negative Just yep. gonna... looks like that site was accurate checked with the two other sites so uh let's start to uh strip the wire so 
I have these uh, amp butt splices uh, from Home Depot. They're for 22 to 18 gauge wire, and I think these are 18. Uh, it makes the job really simple. All you have to do is strip one side of the wire, uh, plug, put it in, and clamp it down. And that's it. Now that we have the wires hooked up, we want to give the speaker a quick test to make sure everything's okay. Sounds pretty good. Everything is hooked up. Uh, the wires are good. Uh, sound is good. You take the original screws that came with your speakers and fasten them in to the mount. Now that everything's tidied up, uh, let's take a look, make sure they're sound again. Okay, now that everything's put back, we're gonna reinstall the door panel. Make sure all the plastic pieces are uh, in place before we start uh, pushing it in. Okay, so now it's stuck. We want to start from the top. Make sure all of these pieces are connected. There are these little clips, plastic clips. You have to make sure that they are securely on this part of the door panel. I found it a little helpful to pop out this little triangle piece. This piece is only held by uh, this little plastic clip. This way that all, this entire part is secure, we start pressing on these, uh, start pressing on the door panel. You'll hear it snap. Press firmly and put back the screws, and we're done. And we're done. Everything's nice and solid. Windows all work. Oh, hope this was helpful.